Every day. Oh, I read every day because reading is my work. Uh, all the time. Once a month. Uh, maybe one book a year. Uh, at home. Uh, at home. Us usually at home. Um, I read on the train to and from work, and then when I get home before I go to bed. Uh, at home for me. Yeah. At home. Yeah. Really? Oh. Seriously? <laughs> Not in class? <laughs> um, usually I'm indoors reading because I do a lot of editing of books. At my work or at my house? At home. Well, see, if I go to a park, maybe I'll take a book with me to read. It's called The Three by Susan Lotz. Um, usually I read sort of crime novels, so yeah, it's good. Paradise Lost. Uh, the Milton book, yeah, uh, I think that's really perfect. Some points about demons and angels, and uh, you can see another perspective about like the God or the Christian or something like that. So it's fantastic. Robert Gilday's History of the French Resistance. There's a book by the History Press called Operation Basalt. Um, and there's Paddy Lee Fermer's A Time of Gifts. They're the three books I'm reading at the moment. At the moment I'm reading a book which is difficult to describe. It's about the history of England in relation to the railway. Um, and it reminds me very much of my youth when I grew up in, in England. So that's interesting. The Old Man and the Sea. It's uh, it's it's read when I was a child. I th uh, it's the first time when I got in touch with uh, foreign books, so I was deeply loved in this book. Perhaps the, the Cambridge Modern History. It's about the history of Europe between 1500 and the uh, 20th century. Now I read books, not on devices, as a rule. Uh, just a book. I, yeah, I don't use Kindles or anything. <laughs> Print books, because I like books as a physical object, something tactile and tangible. 